Just got word that all Harris County COVID-19 testing sites are closing at noon today because of that heat. Now, if you had an appointment for today, you can bring your code tomorrow to get tested. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joins us live from a mega testing site at Butler Stadium. And Vincent, how are they coping with this extreme heat right now? Haley, good morning. Several different measures are now being implemented, including the option to work 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. There's different ways to say it. It's a real scorcher. It's like a furnace outside. It's boiling hot. Smothering heat, smothering heat. You know, it's real hot. Real City hot. Marshall has been tested for coronavirus, and he's concerned about health care workers working in temperatures that feel like 110 degrees. I mean, I'm thankful for them, you know, for them being out there and serving Houston. Uh, you know, I'm really appreciative. Porfirio Villarreal with Houston Health acknowledges this heat wave is a problem. It's tough to be out there in the heat working, so we appreciate them doing uh, not only this sacrifice, but, you know, being there throughout. In response to the heat, they've started testing two hours earlier at 8 a.m. That way our staff can work uh, during the coolest part of the morning. So we are there when it's the heat index is not as high. And this way they also finish earlier, typically around 1230. Other things that we've done is uh, we have a tent where they're working to take the samples from the public um, so that is directly away from the, the direct sunlight, and so that keeps them cooler. And something else they're doing to beat the heat, providing cooling towels and vests. So basically, a cooling vest is a wet um, vest um, that helps keep uh, the person cool. And authorities are also providing health care workers with plenty of fluids, like water and sports drinks. Reporting live from Butler Stadium, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.